Let's say we're playing the game of chicken. Scott and I are going to be in cars. <laughs> we're going to drive cars at each other. Whoever swerves loses. So if we both swerve, we both lose. If neither one of us swerves, we both die. <laughs> if Scott swerves and I don't, I get the girl. And vice versa. So let's try to make a threat. I'm not going to swerve. I take my steering wheel and throw it out the window. I'm not going to swerve. So what has Scott done? He's changed the nature of the game. He is basically, by taking his steering wheel out, he's removed his own agency. I, can't, I have no choice but to swerve and lose the game or to die along with Scott. So the way to tell if signaling is good in a game or not, right, is it will help you in a game, is show someone your move. If showing someone your move makes you win, signaling is good in that game. If showing someone your move makes you lose, signaling's bad in that game. Let's do rock, paper, scissors. I signal. I've already thrown the rock. That didn't help me at all, did it? <laughs> no.